All right, so let's just look at these five, five key points here of, of ways in which our origin and uh, upbringing might affect our lives, right? So number one is the, the, the financial status of the household, your silver spoons in our mouth, right? And, and, and those that were born with silver spoon, the silver spoon can affect you both positively or negatively. Not born without silver spoon can affect you both positive, positively and negatively. So it's not necessarily the circumstances of your upbringing is what you got from it, right? Was what you got from it. Rather, there's a, there is a story we typically talk about, about two brothers, right? That grew up in the same household, right? And turned out differently, right? They grew up in a household where their father was a drunkard and their father was abusive, you know? And one grew up and became a very good man, right? Who had, who had who respected his wife and took care of his family, and they asked him, "So, what happened? How did you turn out the way son?" I said, "It's father. He saw what was in his father, and because he saw what was in his father, he interpreted it life. The other one turned out badly, just as like the father. And they asked, "Why did you turn out this bad?" He said, "The father." Right, you see, the both of them have the same circumstance, right? But they give different interpretation to that circumstance. The other one said, Hey, it's my father, and he told her badly, right? But it's the same example, two different occurrence, two different outcomes, right? You know, so we can't blame the circumstances of our life, we can't bring our upbringing at the end of the day. So we're not here looking at origin and upbringing in a way to blame it. We're just saying, How did you interpret it? And in what way is it, or has it been affecting your life, right? So that you can do a cleansing work, a redemption work, and get yourself on the right path, right? So we're not here trying to look down on anybody's upbringing, right? Because upbringing really does not determine your destiny. It's the way you interpret it that determines your destiny, right? You know, it's just that thing we say all the time. We say, don't, be, don't ever believe a prophecy that does not empower you, right? Don't ever believe what someone has to say that does not empower you, right? Because you, uh, it's not about what the person is saying, right? It's about you believing it or not believing it. And why would you want to disempower yourself, right? Life is a battlefield, right? And you're here to win. Otherwise, why are you here? Winning is important. Nobody's here just to pass. God did not put you here just to be a pastor.